More than four decades ago, humanity launched a mission that would forever change our understanding of the cosmos. On August 20th, 1977, two incredible spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, were sent on an unprecedented journey into the outer reaches of the solar system. What seemed like an impossible task, akin to asking a gnat to explore New York City and report back, actually succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. And now, even after more than 45 years, these two silent travelers are still sending back data. And once again, they've stunned scientists. Why? What have they uncovered in the dark unknown of space that's causing such a stir? Let's explore this cosmic mystery, Voyager's origins and mission. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched during a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years, offering a unique opportunity to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in a single mission. Voyager 2 launched first, followed shortly by Voyager 1. Both missions began with an expected duration of five years. At most, a 12-year mission was seen as the upper limit. But time had other plans. Those short-term probes went on to make history, and they're still doing science over four decades later. Before Voyager, our only real reference for what a moon looked like was our own moon, cratered, silent, and lifeless. That all changed when Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter in 1979. There, it revealed an astonishing diversity among the planet's moons. Callisto and Ganymede showed signs of familiar impact craters, but Europa's surface was smooth, lined with ridges, entirely different. Then came Io, whose vivid, pizza-like appearance and lack of craters puzzled researchers. Soon they realized Io was geologically active, home to erupting volcanoes. These findings completely changed our understanding of moons. They weren't just frozen relics of the past. Some were alive with internal activity. And later observations, including those of Europa and Saturn's Enceladus, suggested the presence of subsurface oceans, potential habitats for alien life. The shift to deep space. By the time Voyager 1 completed its close encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, including a pivotal flyby of Saturn's moon Titan, it transitioned from a planetary mission into a deep space journey. Before leaving, it performed one final task, it turned its camera back toward the solar system. From more than 40 times Earth's distance from the Sun, it captured what would become the iconic family portrait of our solar system. In one of those frames, Earth appeared as a faint, tiny speck, just a pixel suspended in a beam of scattered sunlight. Carl Sagan famously referred to it as the pale blue dot, a humbling reminder of how small and fragile our world is in the vastness of space. That image was taken in 1990, and Voyager's story didn't end there. Crossing into interstellar space, Voyager 1 officially became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space in 2013. Voyager 2 followed in 2018. This milestone marked their crossing beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and the interstellar medium begins. Interstellar refers to the space between stars, and both spacecraft are now transmitting valuable data from this untouched realm. They are studying how the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun, interacts with material from other stars. They've also helped scientists understand the heliosphere, a vast bubble carved out by the solar wind. Outside of this protective shield, radiation from beyond our solar system is about three times more intense. Data from the Voyagers combined with newer space missions is giving scientists a clearer picture of how our solar system fits into the larger galaxy. Aging hardware, enduring legacy. Each Voyager is powered by a nuclear thermoelectric generator that uses decaying plutonium to produce electricity. As time passes, the output steadily drops, limiting how many instruments can stay powered. To conserve energy, NASA engineers have had to shut off non-essential systems, including heaters meant to protect instruments from the freezing cold of space. Yet, incredibly, five science instruments continue to operate 
even after being exposed to harsh temperatures since 2019. NASA engineers remain stunned by the spacecraft's resilience, unexpected anomalies, and mysterious signals. Over the past few years, the Voyagers have continued to deliver surprises. One such anomaly came in the form of a persistent hum detected by Voyager 1, waves emanating from low-density plasma in the near-empty interstellar space. Though some speculated about extraterrestrial origins, it turned out to be a natural phenomenon, still mysterious, but not alien. Then in May of last year, Voyager 1 began returning corrupted telemetry data from its attitude control system, the part of the spacecraft responsible for maintaining orientation and keeping its antenna pointed toward Earth. Troubleshooting a spacecraft built in the early 1970s is no easy task. Some records from those years no longer exist, and engineers had to dig through outdated documentation buried in storage boxes labeled under long-retired engineers' names. But thanks to the dedication of the current mission team, the problem was gradually traced and resolved. Yet another testament to the ingenuity behind the mission. Still pushing the boundaries. Today, the Voyagers continue their voyage beyond the solar system, venturing deeper into the unexplored. Each signal they send is a whisper from a distance no human has ever reached. They remain the farthest human-made objects from Earth, still making discoveries, still testing limits, still reminding us how much there is left to learn. In a universe so vast, these tiny spacecraft, no bigger than a compact car, have redefined what we know about planets, moons, stars, and the space between them. And even now, as their power slowly fades, they continue to astonish. Even in deep space, Voyager still has stories to tell. As Voyager 1 pushes ever deeper into the interstellar unknown, its journey continues to challenge and intrigue scientists. Recently, engineers proposed that the spacecraft's latest glitch could be tied to its extreme environment. Interstellar space is filled with high-energy charged particles, and although the odds of a direct hit on the spacecraft are low, even a single impact could disrupt sensitive onboard systems. While it can't be confirmed as the root cause, it remains a possibility in the ongoing mystery. In August, NASA's engineering team finally traced the source of the strange telemetry readings, a failed component within the attitude control system, likely triggered by a faulty command issued from another part of the onboard computer system. To extend the lifespan of both probes, mission controllers have been steadily powering down non-essential systems, like the heaters once used to protect scientific instruments, part of a long-term energy conservation strategy. These sacrifices are designed to keep the spacecraft functional as long as possible, ideally into the next decade. A legacy of discovery. Voyager has transformed our knowledge of the solar system. From revealing new rings and moons to discovering the boundary of the heliopause, the point where the solar wind meets interstellar space, its legacy is enormous. It's amazing that after all these decades, both spacecraft are still going strong, said project manager Suzanne Dodd. Sure, there are hiccups, but they're still delivering incredibly valuable science. Even though Voyager 1 no longer captures images, it continues to gather data from interstellar space. Currently moving at over 38,000 miles per hour, more than 15.5 billion miles from Earth, its signals, faint but steady, take about 22 hours to reach us. The golden record, humanity's time capsule. While its scientific contributions are monumental, what captures the public imagination most are the golden records aboard each spacecraft. Curated by a team led by the legendary Carl Sagan, the records serve as a message to any intelligent life that might someday find them, a sort of interstellar mixtape of humanity. Though the music receives the most attention, the records include a wide variety of Earth sounds, like the rhythmic tapping of stone tools, a technology humans have used for millions of years. The familiar thud of stone on stone and the sound of a heartbeat reflect both the ancient and the intimate. Among 116 images encoded on the records is a striking photo of a black female scientist examining a specimen under a microscope, her earrings gently swinging. 
That single detail sparked debate about whether alien intelligences would understand the concept of jewelry. Alongside it is a microscopic image of cells dividing, evidence that Earthlings understand biology at its most fundamental level. Greetings were recorded in 55 languages, including many ancient tongues no longer spoken, such as Akkadian and Hittite. The most common sentiments expressed? Hello, peace, and friend. In Portuguese, linguist Janet Sternberg offered a simple blessing, peace and happiness to all, into the great beyond. Despite their tremendous distance, neither spacecraft has yet left the solar system entirely. They must still pass through the vast Oort cloud, a shell of icy objects that envelops our system. This journey could take another 20,000 years. By the 2030s, both voyagers will go silent. NASA continues to shut down systems on Voyager 2 to conserve its remaining power. But even after transmissions cease, the spacecraft won't be truly gone. Each golden record contains a tiny amount of uranium-238, a radioactive isotope with a half-life of 4.5 billion years. That's far longer than the plutonium powering their systems, which will decay into silence in less than a century. This slow transformation, radioactive decay, turning elements to lead over billions of years, is a kind of cosmic reverse alchemy. As Voyager's systems shut down one by one, the spacecraft will remain as relics of Earth, slowly aging among the stars. Voyager 2 is expected to degrade more quickly than its sibling, as it traverses a different path through interstellar space. But even after five billion years, scientists believe the golden record will still be mostly intact, a readable artifact of a long-lost world. Ironically, by then, Earth itself may have changed so drastically that the images and sounds on the record will be unrecognizable to any future observers, even those from our own planet, where science meets symbolism. While the golden records have captured imaginations for decades, the Voyager's true cultural weight lies in their placement, farther from Earth than any other human-made object. They represent the outermost boundary of human reach, a faint signal whispering into the cosmic dark. When their final signals fade, it'll feel like we've lost a sense, an ear that once listened to the universe's edge. Telescopes offer glimpses from afar, but they don't stand in our place. The Voyagers did, so who will go next? Who will chase their fading trail into the deep? Even in interstellar darkness, Voyager still speaks. In April 2025, nearly 48 years after launch, Voyager 1 remains fully operational, its tiny thrusters, computers, and instruments still beaming vital information across unfathomable distances. Engineers once puzzled over its scrambled attitude control data, were charged particles from deep space interfering with circuits? Then, after weeks of analysis, they pinpointed the culprit. An aging component within the system's computer had silently failed, likely triggered by the harsh conditions thousands of times more extreme than anything experienced in low Earth orbit. To prolong the probe's lifespan, NASA has embarked on a deliberate power preservation strategy. Since 2019, Control teams have systematically shut down non-critical heaters and instruments. Those heaters kept sensors from freezing. Without them, subsystems must endure ever colder temperatures. Yet remarkably, all major science instruments are still nominal, or waking up when commanded, allowing real science to proceed. Voyager's legacy of revelation. Voyager's contributions are staggering in scope. In 1979, Voyager 1 shattered our assumptions about what moons could be, revealing a solar system far more dynamic and diverse than anticipated. Europa's icy crust, marked by ridges, hinted at hidden oceans. Io's volcanic fury startled us. Saturn's rings, Titan's thick haze. There was so much we had never expected. Then came the interstellar frontier, the heliopause, the boundary marking the end of the sun's constant particle wind was once thought to fade slowly. Instead, Voyager recorded a sudden wall of hot plasma, intense cosmic rays, 
and tightly aligned magnetic fields. Voyager 1 crossed it in 2012, then headed deeper. Voyager 2 followed in 2018. Both probes went silent and invisible to all but the tiniest sensors. Yet they continue to transmit data that refines heliophysics models and the shape of our entire solar bubble. Golden Records, Humanity's Message in a Bottle. So much of Voyager's allure lies not in its scientific instruments, but in what it carries. The Golden Records represent humanity's greatest hopes and memories, a curated snapshot of civilization meant for whoever or whatever might find it in millions of years. The record's contents are remarkable in their depth and breadth. Beyond the music, from Bach to Chuck Berry, lie snippets of everyday life, a black woman in a lab coat peering through a microscope, her earrings edging with purpose, close-ups of bacteria reproducing, thunder, wind, and ocean waves rolling ashore, a baby's laughter, discussions in 55 languages spanning antiquity to modern days, and greetings of peace and friendship. The striking image of a black female scientist particularly spurred debate. Would advanced intelligences interpret jewelry as status or adornment? Or would such details be dismissed? Yet its inclusion signals something vital, a vision of diversity, inclusion, and curiosity at the core of our species. These relics, especially the Uranium-238 identity plates, are expected to survive billions of years. Even as Voyager's power fades to zero, the records remain readable, quietly preserving human existence long after our sun dims. Voyager's final frontier, the Oort cloud and beyond. No stills from here, only distances, densities, radiation levels, and plasma waves. Once they pass the heliopause, the probes enter the Oort cloud, a vast donut-shaped halo of icy bodies, the scattered remains of solar system formation. They'll drift there quietly for another 20,000 years, perhaps eventually escaping into interstellar space completely, or spiraling into another star's domain. Even when transmissions end, they'll remain as cultural icons, artifacts of humanity's longing to reach beyond, akin to Stonehenge icons wandering indefinitely across an empty cosmic highway. The cultural weight of human presence. Every signal we've ever sent, any push of a button, any radio wave, was once in the vacuum of space. But Voyager is unique. It carries our essence, not just our instruments, it's a machine acting as a time capsule, time machine and cultural marker all in one. When transmissions cease, as they inevitably must, it will feel like a loss. Not of hardware, but of presence. Telescopes remain vital, but they give us snapshots. Voyager is still there in the cold interstellar dark, sending back stories as it goes. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey through time and space. If you enjoyed this, make sure to tap on the next video on your screen for more mind-expanding space content.